This is the apparatus you're going to wear, all right? If everybody looks at this, this is the, the supply mouthpiece that's going to go in. You see the two little tits that are here? See them? Okay. You see the groove that's on this mask? See the groove? Up in the front. See that little groove? See that little groove? Okay. What's going to happen is you are going to have a mask on. And you're going to try to take this, put it here, all right, and actually let it slide down and hang here. Now you'll have your mask on. You can breathe. Once we want to close up, we close this up. Once you start to breathe, you'll feel a shudder. That closes up right off of that hook. Right closes right up. You push it in just like that. Oh, okay. If you want to open it, you take your thumb and your forefinger. There are two spots, one on the bottom. One on top. Squeeze them. Turn them. Don't force it because you can break the ears off and just kind of work them. But actually, when you're done, just leave it open and you're going to breathe. Everybody understand? If you go to remove it, do it nice and gently and work it up and then off. Any questions? Our next move, and before we put them on, put it on it, I'll give you an explanation right here. When we go out, Who has one with the little covers on it? Anybody have one with the covers? These are the covers we're talking about that could be on a fitting. You simply, in this case, this is a pullback fitting, a slip fitting. Pull it out. I get done. I close it. I put it back. Slip fitting. It won't come out. Here we go. Okay. This is your bottle there. I pull this back. Al wants to plug in, he plugs in. So we're going to say that's our, our bottle, all right? We're plugged in. Okay, this is going to be for the machine air. Right. Yep. The reason they make this 15 inches so that if I can't see, I can bring this up here and plug in and check it to, your hose. to the hose on the machine. And I physically can see it. If I need to exit, I take that, I turn it, I leave it in the machine, I let go of this, I'm still hooked up to my other one, I grab my bottle, I exit the machine. No muss, no fuss. <clears throat> okay, let's get this fellow dressed here. We're going to get rid of some of this stuff. This one here we're going to pull off, get that out of here. All right, you're going to turn this around. Okay, you want to grab that side? And I think you got to let the strap out. There we go. This is wrong. Whoever had this, huh? Okay, come around. Okay, you need more slack there. Slack. Pull, pull, pull. Good. Get that centered now. Give it a tug. You want a little on the tight side. Okay. Move up here. Just a hair. Okay. Turn around. Sideways. Now, if he's got a mask on, do you think he can see this real well? No. 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 But if he does have his air bottle, because that's going to hook onto here, he can actually come back here with his hand, with, the, with that bottle, feel it, and then snap it in. Then he's got to give it a tug, make sure it's locked in, yes? Yes. Sir. So he's hooked in. Next thing he's going to do when he, he goes to walk out and everything is done, he goes to get up in the machine, he brings this forward. Can he see better? Yes. He hooks up. This one stays the way it is. Once he's hooked up, he takes his bottle and he backs it off to close it. The new air should be coming through the regulator from the big one on the machine through here. He shuts it completely off, has breathing, no problem. Bingo, he's ready to go to work. The bottle comes behind him, behind the seat, or in a basket, he operates. He needs to leave to go to the bathroom, decon, or for lunch. He turns your bottle back on, the little one. He takes this, and he disconnects. And now he's breathing here. No loss of air, continuous air. 
Everybody understand? He exits, exits the machine. You cannot get down off the machine carrying a bottle. So you put the bottle on the floor, either lay it down, stand it up where it can't fall or whatever. Three-point stance, you're going to get down the machine, reach, grab your bottle, bring it with you. Okay? Put that on a minute. About the bottle, you have accordion, so this will stretch. So if this is the top of the machine and I'm climbing down, I have plenty. Everybody understand? Okay. Check the gauge. Make sure you have proper air. You don't are in the red. Make sure the hip air is not in the red and that you have the proper air. The people that don't check, when they get out there, this fails, they go to use this, there is no escape. Everybody understand? Okay. So right now we have them, all right, nice and neat and clean. If you have any loose ends, everybody, you watching? If you have any lo loose ends, all right, what you want to do is take them, fold them. There is no shortage of duct tape. Put it something like that. You know, I'm not going to do it real fancy, but get back in here somewhere. And again, duct tape sticks to everything. All right, this piece is the supply air coming through. It's on a swivel. Everybody see it? All right, these can be shortened. They can be lengthened. The piece from here to here, which is carrying the air across, okay? Is this going to fit Birdman? Eh? Is Birdman that wide? No. So they make pieces that are actually longer, all right? Shorter they don't, but longer they will, because you got guys that are big, okay? So this you got to make sure is correct, all right? Everybody understand that? Yes. Turn around. You're ready to go. You wiped it down. Watch yourself. Go ahead and put it on. I'm going to tell you what's going to be tough is putting, that, putting this yellow cord on the back of that fit. All right. We're in pretty good shape here. Um, I think the last thing we talked about was loose items. You want to stay streamlined the same way as if you're on a regular job. You don't want anything caught in levers, doors, pinch points, right? What's going to be real tough on this is mounting and dismounting a machine, which you will see, even at level C. Um, looking down just to place your foot, three-point stand to get up and to move around, real difficult. What I want him to do is sit in the seat here, all right, just like he's going to be in a machine, and before he backs up and puts it in reverse, he has to look behind him. So go ahead and look behind you like you would normally look. You got to go way around, don't you? Peripheral vision isn't very good. He's got to come way around. Keep in mind, the bigger you are, the heavier you are, the smaller the machine. Try doing what he's doing in a skid steer. Not real good. Do they use skid steers in hazmat? Yes. They handle drums. They do a little bit of everything. So keep that in mind. Your vision is cut down. The other thing, again, he mentioned it before. He's looking down. Isn't that a pain in the neck? Looking down here. Right? Because you're looking down, you're seeing the nose cup, you're seeing this. So if you were a crane operator that, and you're doing clamming or any kind of stuff, that's a pain in the neck. Um, they, they can, well, one thing we could do, if it's above 32 degrees, what do we take out of here? Take the nose cup out. That's going to help you a whole lot, okay? And then we're only talking about here. If you notice, the clip-on is down here, not out here. The old ones used to be off to the side or out here. So they were kind of in the way. This one's down the bottom, okay? Okay, now what we want to do, we're going to, let's see, stand him up and, uh, yeah, we're going to do gloves and then we're going to do hookup. So we want a special fitting, right, for this. And will that one work in front of you, Frank? The tank in front of you? This one, no. Tank in front of you? Okay, so we're going to use that one, all right? Yep. Again, he should look at this before he starts, okay, and know that he's got air. And you will see time and time again, nobody looks at anything. Now, is that full now? That's full. That's full. Okay, it will not go to the yellow, all right? It will go before the 20, 
generally 15 to 20 is fine. Okay, that will give you your 30 minutes and that's it. At 2,116 PSI, that's low pressure. 4,500 is what? Firefighter, SCBA, okay, high pressure. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the bottle here and we'll get him turned around. Before we hook him up, what I want him to do is turn around, turn around. He's gonna take, he's gonna take this and he's gonna hook it up, all right? That's his air supply and he's gonna hook it up. So he did a first shot only because I told him, other than that, he would have been fumbling, okay? So right now he could breathe. Do we want it like this, do you think? You want it over the shoulder or do you want it under the shoulder? Where do you think it should be? I don't know. I don't know. Move around. See what happens. Turn your head. Turn your head. Okay. Turn around. Show them where it's coming from. Turn around. Turn around. And it's on a swivel. So, so he could actually go anywhere with it. Would you want to come around the other way? Disconnect it. Come around. How about here? Anybody? Is that better? Okay, so we put the swivel here. Could he do it like that? I like that. Yeah. Turn around. Okay. Okay, so now he's pretty much ready to go. All right, we know we have air. Okay. All right, turn around. We're going to hook him up. Right, right there. Try to keep your arms up to the front. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hook him up. He's breathing regular air out of the bottom. When I tell him, he's going to close that, and I'll turn the air on. What I want you to listen to is the demand. When you hear him breathe and you hear it go, it'll kick on. Okay? You ready? All right. I give it a tug. He said, I want to pop it out. All right, now I want you to close that. Close that. Turn around. Turn around. Come on. Turn around. Good. All right, go ahead and close that the way I told you. Snap it up and in. Snap it up. Good. You have air? You have any air? No air. Uh-oh. Get ready. Breathe. Everybody see it? Perfect. Perfect. But you feel that little bit when you didn't have anything there? That sucks, doesn't it? Okay. Now, you feel real comfortable? Look over towards him a little bit. He feels comfortable, right? You're breathing nice. All right, go ahead and listen. How you doing, all right? Everything fine? Yeah, it's kind of tight now. It's starting to get tight. Oh, okay. Do you have air? Can you breathe? No, so you need air. Yeah. Okay. So I, I need you to go to the emergency bottle then if you're having a problem to the emergency bottle. You have to turn it on. Okay. Kind of hesitated, not sure where he's at. I'm not making fun of you, but kind of hesitated. Mm, go to the emergency bottle. So he's looking over here. Is this it? No. So we go over there. He did remember palm down, so you're right dead on the money to turn it on. Then the next move is turn it on. No air, turn it on. And there you are, back in business. Go ahead and shut that off. Nice and tight. Okay, listen to him breathe. A lot of people can't deal with this breathing thing. Let me know when you run out of air. Pardon me? Okay. And you're pretty well sucked out. Okay. Okay, we give him air back. All right, and you felt that, just that feeling of, there is no more. There is no more, you ain't getting it. Yes, it, it sucks in, especially on an inhale when you run out, it's, that's it, that's it. There is no more breathing. He stayed calm, he got to his emergency bottle, okay? How does it feel? Okay.